Hi everyone, Arian from Ignite Post here. Today I'm going to walk through the several steps it takes to set up an Ignite Post campaign and send out a sequence of cards uh, using the campaign feature on our dashboard. So here I am on the Ignite Post site, and if you haven't done so already, what you start by doing is clicking on the upper right hand corner where it says login, sign up. So if we go ahead and click there, the first thing we'll need is an Ignite Post account. So if you do have an account, you can go ahead and log in. Let's pretend that I do not. So I'll click create an account and I'll sign up. Arian Raumund, Arian Sample, IgnitePost.com. Okay, perfect. So we'll hit sign up. So when we hit sign up, we are put on the Ignite Post dashboard. This is the main dashboard where you can kind of do everything that you need to on the Ignite Post service. So if you notice, it says we don't have any campaign set up. So let's go ahead and create a campaign is the first thing that we'll do. So it asks me, what do I want to name my campaign? Let's say that I want to uh, stay in touch and say happy birthday to everybody that has an August birthdays. So I'm just going to name this August birthdays. And my goal is to just stay top of mind. Let's say I have a list of my top clients or just my top friends and I want to stay uh, happy birthday every August. So we'll hit create. All right. So now this puts me on the create new letter screen. And so a couple options here. So you can choose the note type you want. I'm going to stick with the 5x7 folded card. It gives me the option to select the send date. So if this is a, an August birthday campaign, obviously I want this sent in August. So let's go ahead and say I want this sent on August 1st. Sender address details. So I'll type in my address details. One, two, three, Main Street. South Park, Colorado. Perfect. So these address details will be handwritten on the envelope as the return address. Now let's say I want to say something like, hi friend, happy birthday. So what I want to do is I want to personalize this because I don't just want a generic message for everybody. So if you notice down here, there's a couple of options to include and pull in merge variables from the contact list that I'm going to upload. So I'll say, hi, first name. Happy birthday. Thanks so much for being a great customer. Just wanted to reach out and say happy birthday, best Arian. Perfect. Now I do have the option to change up the handwriting style a little bit, so I don't write quite this neat, so let's use something maybe that's a little bit sloppier. That looks great. We can upload our own logo here if we want to. I see this, I have a default happy birthday card, so let's stick with that. However, if I did want to put my own logo or an image that I want on the front of the stationery, I could simply click here to upload my own, upload the image, and then use that. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I know this was going to be sent on August 1st of this year. Uh, I'm happy with the copy that's in there, and I'm happy with how the front of the stationery will look. So let's go ahead and hit Create. OK. so. The next thing to do is actually upload the list of people that I want to receive this handwritten card. So what we have right here is if you want, you can download a sample CSV file to use. So I'll click that to download the file. The only thing you need to do is match the headers in the file. So you see we have first name, last name, company, and then all the address fields that we need. As long as you keep those headers in the same order, our system will be able to correctly pull out the correct field and process them. So let's just use the, the sample sheet that I just downloaded. I'll name this 
my August birthday list. And you just simply hit choose file. And this will allow me to choose the contact spreadsheet that I want to use. All right, so I've chosen that. And then you just simply hit create contact list. Perfect. And so what Ignite Post will do in the background is it'll go through that spreadsheet that you just uploaded. It will pull out all the individual contacts so that you can see it here in your dashboard. Uh, but while it's happening, your job is really done. So if you just wanted to set up one single uh, piece of outreach that's going to be sent to the entire list, there's nothing else that you need to do. So we see on the 1st of August, everybody in that list that I just uploaded is going to get this happy birthday handwritten card and I will get an email a week prior to the cards going out just letting me know that uh, the order is about to be shipped. So there's nothing else for me to do if I don't want. Uh, I can come here and take a look at the contact lists that I've uploaded. So again I uploaded that list called August birthday list. Uh, I see it's right here. It's just got that one contact in it because it was the sample file that I, I chose. So it has my sample Bob Smith here. Uh, so that's it. So I can kind of see, see what's going on here. Now an interesting thing to do is if I go back to my campaign screen, I can see all of the campaigns that I have set up. So obviously I only have one campaign set up here. It's my August birthday campaign. So if I wanted to, let's say, send a birthday card every August, not just once, I can also set that up pretty, pretty easily. So if I hit view, just to kind of view the campaign and see what's going on here, I see that there's only one letter that's going to be sent on August 1st of this year. So let's say that on August 1st of 2021, I want to send another happy birthday letter out to everybody in the list. I could do that pretty simply by coming here and just hitting add new letter. I still want to stick with this 5x7 folded card, but instead of August of 2020, we want to do August of 2021. And let's say I want this sent August 1st of 2021. So again, I can fill in my return address details that will be handwritten on the envelope if I want. Um, you know, the original message I sent, uh, I selected this handwriting style and I said something like happy birthday. Now I can follow up and say something like maybe, you know, hi first name, can you believe another year has passed. Happy birthday. Drop me a line when you get this. Best Arian. Okay, just to change it up slightly, just so that they're not getting the same thing every year. You know, again, I can choose the exact same image that I chose last time or I could choose to upload a different happy birthday image or a logo or whatever I want and everybody again will get that image printed on the front of their card personalized with the copy that I came up with. So that's it. So I'll hit create and now that I see in my campaign there's actually two letters that are going to go out to my entire group each time the date comes around. So on August 1st of this year, of 2020, everybody's going to get my happy birthday card. So if I had you know, 100 people on this list, all 100 people would get this happy birthday card on the 1st of this year. And then if I did nothing, on August 1st of 2021, that same 100 people would also all get my follow-up happy birthday card. So that, again, this is just kind of a quick, easy example of how to stay in touch with everybody in a pretty easy way. Obviously, you don't have to wait a year to send uh, birthday cards. Uh, you can kind of space this out. Let's say I have a, a client list and I want to stay top of mind with them year-round. Nothing prevents me from coming in and kind of changing this up so that quarterly I send them a handwritten note that just says, hey, just wanted to check in. Give me a call back. Here's my phone number. So with that, you're pretty much done. Uh, there's nothing else that you need to do. If you use the top part of your dashboard right here, you can see all of the campaigns that you have set up. Right now, we only have this one campaign set up, but if you dive in here, it does give you the ability to see 
what type of outreach and correspondence is going to be sent when. So that's it for setting up a sequence campaign on Ignite Post. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you do have any questions or are interested in having us walk through and set up a campaign with you, we're happy to do that. Reach out to us at support at ignitepost.com. Thanks so much, and uh, we will see you next time.